Hey everyone, today's video is a little different. This channel has always been about documenting my life and sharing my hobbies that I'm passionate about, uh, but one hobby that I haven't shared yet is fantasy football. It's something that keeps me connected with my best friends from college, and it's also a creative outlet for my passion for data science. And so I'm going to share with you my auction draft optimizer. It's helped me win some fantasy football championships. Yeah! The objective of this project is so that you can draft the highest possible scoring roster uh, in an auction draft. So you have to take the starting position limit constraints into account, as well as uh, your budget for how much you can spend on the players. And I've turned this into a GitHub project now so that anybody with a little bit of coding experience is able to use it too. But before we dive into the GitHub project, there's two things you're going to need first. R, it's the coding language that I use to make this project. And then the second thing is RStudio. It is a user interface that makes and working R a lot easier. So once you have both those installed, we'll be able to clone or download this GitHub repo, and then we can run everything locally. All right, so a quick overview of this project. Here's my GitHub repo. This has all the code and data you'll need. So in this data folder, uh, you'll see that here's the projections that I scraped, and then I have the code so that you can rerun the projections to update them if someone gets injured or something happens. And then the second thing are these auction values. I got these from the Fantasy Pros website, and we can tweak those later. All right, next is the scripts folder. Uh, this is the R script that scrapes the projections using FF Analytics package. The next part you'll run is the auction draft optimizer. So this is the main chunk of the code that optimizes the best uh, roster you can buy in an auction draft. And then I also have an example usage. So this will be helpful to show you how to run it and tweak the numbers and stuff to make it custom for your league. Okay, so for you to run this personally on your computer, the first step you're going to do is go to this green button here that says code, and we're going to copy the link that this GitHub repo is located at, and then we're going to go over to RStudio. All right, so once you open RStudio, you'll click this project arrow in the top right, and we're going to do a new project, and then click version control, git, and then this is where you paste that link you just copied and create project. Okay, so once that loads, we're going to go over to our files tab here and click the scripts folder and open the scrape projections R script. And then to run this, we're going to click source. What this is using is using the FF Analytics package to uh, get projections for quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. We're not going to mess with kickers and defenses for now. So I'm going to click Source, and then this will just take a couple minutes to run. Okay, so that just finished running. I'm to check to see if that data updated. You can see projections 2025, and yes, that just ran. Okay, cool. The Fantasy Football Analytics package is pretty cool. I did a little work for them a couple years ago, uh, helping them update their scripts. But as you can see, this package gets projections from multiple different sources listed here. And so what it does is it averages projections from all these different sources. And they have some articles on their website showing how if you take all these different projections and average them, average projections are actually more accurate than one single website. So the projections we're using in this tool are better than any single website you could look at. So the next step, just to use the um, example usage, uh, we're going to update or install any packages that we need to. OK, so those packages are updated. OK, so now on the example usage, we can just run this line by line. So this calls our draft optimizer script. And then this is going to get our projected values we just ran from the FF Analytics scrape and values is the uh, auction draft values from Fantasy Pros. Then we're going to combine that into the auction data. And then this next part is optional, but I recommend it. Um, this is adjusting the top player auction values. So like I know in my league, like my league mates and I pay way more for like the top tier guys like Saquon and Bijan Robinson. Um, but usually the auction values online don't reflect that. So I wrote a little uh, function to increase the values for like the top tier guys. So in this specific case, we're going to look at um, the top five running backs and the top five wide receivers. And for the top five running backs, we're going to increase their price by 50%. And for the top wide receivers, we're increasing their price by 25%. So if we run that and then check 
what that looks like. We can see that, okay, cool. So Bijan, Saquon, Jameer are a lot more expensive than what they originally were. This looks more in line with what like my league mates would actually pay for a running back. Cool. All right, so now total roster size, um, starting roster size, and minimum cost per player. So this is going to account for the fact that you need to pay like a dollar for your kicker, defense, and bench players. I think it's best to spend all your money on your starters. That's how you maximize the points you can get each week. And then just leave a dollar left for everyone else that isn't a starter and your defense and kicker. Okay. And now let's run that. Cool. So the best roster you can get in your auction draft is Josh Allen as your quarterback, uh, Aston Genty as your running back, and then Nico Collins and Rashid Rice as your wide receivers. Um, looks like your second running back is Chase Brown, Flex is Tuba Hubbard, and tight end is Trey McBride. I'm going to show how you can change this for your specific league settings. So for my league, we do standard scoring, and there are only eight of us. So let's see what those auction prices look like. Okay, 78 for Saquon, 69 for Bijan, 68 for Derrick Henry. That seems about right. You might actually pay a little more. And then starting roster size is actually 8. Okay, so now... In our optimize auction roster function, this is the function that calculates the best lineup. I'm going to increase our roster size to eight. There's only eight teams. And then something kind of different in our league is that we start three wide receivers. And then this column to the right uh, accounts for the flex position. So the top row quarterback, the minimum and max is one. We only have one starting quarterback. We have two starting running back slots, three wide receivers and one tight end. But the flex spot could be running back, wide receiver, or tight end. So the optimized auction roster will find the best person for that. It's typically a running back, but we'll see. Okay, so the best roster I could purchase in an auction draft is Jaden Daniels as my quarterback. Uh, Jonathan Taylor and Kyron Williams are my top two running backs. And then looks like Chase Brown running back is the flex. And then the three wide receivers, Brian Thomas Jr., Malik Neighbors, and DJ Moore. And then my tight end is Trey McBride. And then, I mean, I can go in further and kind of tweak these values and see how the, the roster changes. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you can tweak these values to match your league settings. And it will show you how to draft the best possible roster for an auction draft. So go ahead and check out the GitHub repo. I have the link posted in the video description. And feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments below. I'll try to get to those. And please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And good luck drafting this fantasy football season.